Hi folks, this is Lee with the Market Sense for the week of September 8th, 2020. Charts in this presentation come from the Trade Navigator software that's provided by Genesis. And this is a weekly bond market chart and inside is what you can say about virtually everything. So far this week is inside of last week, which is almost inside of the week before that. And all of this is inside of this price pattern here. And this entire price pattern is inside of this price pattern here. Bottom line, the market is sideways. And these little breaks here and here don't really mean anything. They're sideways probably for the rest of the year. And, you know, you'd have to assume that the likely resolution of this sideways is to the downside but can't be sure of that they're just sideways until further notice uh, we were kind of looking at maybe 173.18 as support but with them opening higher like this it's more like support should be 174.19 they haven't even been down to that they're just working their way up uh, 76.12 could possibly be resistance but it certainly looks more likely to be up closer to 178.12 uh, but all of this is just for quick little dabbles back and forth. The basic direction of this market is directionless. I know that's not exciting, but that's what we got. Now stocks. Well, something's changed here. Um, as you can see, we had a big down outside week last week, um, and it's continued lower this week. This is clearly different than we've seen for a while. They hadn't even been down to the middle moving average and they went all the way down to the lower band. And now they appear to be trying to break below it. Uh, we do have some support here in the, well, it's kind of like, let's call it the 3310 area. Uh, down from there to about 20, 3290, I think it is, 3310 to 3290. Um, but that isn't support that has to hold. I mean, they could break down back to the mid Keltner channel here in the in the 3200 area, uh, probably about 10, 20 points either side of 3200, because you go back to this old swing high that they broke out from. Any of these things back down here would still look very bullish. It would still look like a very bullish price pattern. I will say this: a large portion of this breakdown occurred on Thursday. And it occurred on good news. That's very significant. A bull market will go up even on bad news. You get good news, they go up. You get bad news, they go up. When you start going down on good news, that's a pretty bad sign. Now, I'm not trying to tell you, oh, that's it. The sky is falling. This is over. I'm not telling you that. I am telling you this is different. This is not what we've seen since this low back here in March. This is, this is a different reaction in the market. They're focused on something different now. And we'll have to keep an eye on it to see if they're going to hold support and go back and at least test it again or exactly what's going on. But something has definitely changed here. And like I said, we'll keep an eye on it and see just how serious this is. But they haven't broken anything of real significance yet. The price pattern still looks pretty good. Uh, this is the NASDAQ QQQ ETF, and it has a somewhat similar pattern to the S&P in that they have the outside bar last week and they broke down on good news. Uh, they actually went and closed back above their moving average, which means the breakdown this week is perhaps a bit more significant. Uh, we're looking at uh, the 269 area. That's where that projected low is, right around the 269 area is what we're looking at as support here. And again, they could break down to the mid Keltner. Uh, it wouldn't be a, wouldn't be a big shock. Uh, the resistance to pay attention to is around 284 or 77. If they can get back up there, it'll be fascinating to see if that holds and sends them back down again. I would say if they are really in trouble and again, the reaction negative on good news, that could be bad. If they're really in trouble, they won't get up to this resistance at all. They'll just break down and at least get to this mid Keltner. Well, they don't have to get there this week, but uh, they'll just break down and they won't go up to this resistance at all. If they get up there, they could still hold and turn back down. But if they're super negative, they're not even going to get there. So that's something else to keep an eye on. Uh, again, I don't want to turn terribly negative on this market. This is a bull market and it still is. But that is a much different indication than we've had for several months now. So you just have to be aware something has changed. 
So that's what we've got for you today. I hope you can find something profitable